Hi everyone, and welcome to Eagle Creek Railroad. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, my two Broadway Limited locos, um, how I look after them, and how I keep them in tip top condition for running on the layout. Uh, I know Broadway Limited, especially with the Paragon 3 uh, sound files, they have um, a bit of a reputation for being quite poor runners, and I, I do agree to a certain extent. But um, I think a lot of it is that we're so used to having the likes of Cato, Athern, Atlas, Intermountain, etc. that um, run really quite well out of the box. That um, that maybe makes us a little bit complacent. Whereas if we spend a little bit of um, bit of time and a bit of effort just keeping things clean, tidy, um, you know, lubricated and generally looked after, you know, I find they actually run quite well. So I'm going to be looking at cleaning the track, cleaning the wheels making sure everything's um, lubricated and just in tip-top condition in general. Okay, well, the first thing I use is the Tidy Track from Woodland Scenics. A very, very simple piece of kit. You can see you've got the contacts either side of the plastic spacer in the middle, and you've got like, um, like a really quite rough um, felt pad either side. It's not abrasive. Um, it's by no means abrasive. It won't scratch the wheels or do anything like that. And you can power it either by setting it straight on the track, which is what these contacts are here for, or it's got a, a socket there where you can plug this in and obviously crocodile clip off your track to, to anywhere, really. So it, you can use it remotely from your track. And then these are the two different strips that are available. Let's have a look at this one first. This is just a replacement strip, as you can see. It, um, you know, it literally just glues on the sticky paper, cut it to length, and can stick it on once once these have run out and also you get like um just like the stiff side of velcro which is a little bit more rough um again it's 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 not abrasive it doesn't scratch it or anything like that you'll have to forgive me i've got a brand new phone this is the first video i've shot with it and i'm hoping this will come out in 4k although i'm not 100 percent sure but i am giving it a go so yeah these are the strips that are available for the tidy track it's just a case of pulling the old ones off once they're worn and sticking some new ones on and these are available as spare parts uh, the other piece of kit i like to use is the gauge master oil pen we've just got a really fine needle nose applicator as you can see there so you can get right into you know the sides of the bogies um, obviously it's leaking oil at the moment so i'm going to put the lid back on um but yeah it's really good it's um you know good oil never had a problem with it um, it's what I've always used on double O, N scale, H O, etc. Really, really good. And I've also got a very fine brush. This is an old, uh, an old makeup brush, uh, not a mine, obviously. Um, and when I came by, and I just use that for you know general dusting off the locos, sweeping any bits out because it doesn't lose the fibers off the end too badly. Uh, it's a really good um, tool to have in your in your arsenal. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is have a really good look underneath, make sure there's no fluff or hair or any other debris in between the axles and the wheels or the side frames or in the gears. Have a really good check. Also, check the speaker cutouts just to make sure there's nothing in there. And just have a really good look at it. And if you can see anything, any bits of hair, any bits of fluff, get rid of them, you know, clean them out, brush it all out, keep it nice and clean and tidy. And then once I'm happy that there's nothing in there, I just get the oil pen. Um, I'm not going to squeeze the oil in now because um, I haven't long done it. And over oiling is as bad as under oiling. And I literally, all I do is put a drop on each cog, literally just a drop. Same on the back, one, two, three. And a tiny little bit then, just on the axles. Tiny, tiny little bit, literally just a drop. You don't need a lot. Um, too much oil will you know, gather more dust, more debris will stick to it and it'll become stuck in the gears and it'll just ruin the running. So you only need a tiny, tiny, tiny little drop at each time. And once I've done that then, um, once I'm happy that it's all clean and tidy, go around the loco, just make sure all the bits are there. Because the other thing you could fall foul of is um, detail parts. Sometimes they come off and with end scale they're so small you don't always notice. So it's always good to check your track work, um, check your locos, just to make sure nothing has come off. Because the last thing you want is any sort of detail part being pulled up into the mechanism, getting stuck, you know, on the side of the trucks, in the gears. 
um, you know, he could strip your gears and you could end up in a whole world of pain. So I think it's important that um, you know you do check your locos regularly and your rolling stock for that matter and the track and just make sure that um, you know everything is in tip top shape. Okay, with regards to the track, um, I don't really have a specific regime. I tend to give it a clean at least once a month. I find that enough for me. Obviously, if you run regularly, as in like every day, you might want to do it every weekend. Um, this is what I use to back my track cleaning car. I did do a video on this a little while back. Um, that's the pad there. Like I say, it's not abrasive. It doesn't scratch anything. It's not like the track rubbers or anything like that. It's literally just like a coarse felt pad. Um, I did modify this slightly because I found it really, really light. So I took the body off and I put some extra weight inside. Uh, made a big difference to its performance, both with the cleaning and um, the amount of power you need to pull it around the layout. I actually have to double head this now to get it to go around the layout totally. Otherwise, um, single locos just spin out. But it does do a really good job of cleaning the track. And I will literally just run it around each loop two or three times across all the points. I will run it through the yards, across the sidings, just to make sure everything is uh, tip top. Um, brushing the track off does have a big effect as well because dust is probably worse than anything else depending on where your layout is. And for dealing with that, I've just got a really old paint brush. Um, it was quite a soft bristle brush. And all I do is just sweep the track off, um, get the dust off. And once I've done that then, run the track cleaning car around. And after the first couple of passes, you know, you will see debris starting to build up on the front edge of the pad, which obviously shows it's doing its job. So that's what I do with the, the actual track itself. So what I'll do now, I'll uh, move the camera over to the layout and just give a quick little demonstration about how I go about it. So I'll catch you in a minute. Okay, welcome to the layout. Um, obviously, there's nothing scientific about the track cleaner. Um, literally just gets dragged around by a double-headed pair of locos. And I just run it around for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes across both loops, across the inner side ends. Um, yeah, just all around the layout, really, just to catch any stuff like that. So, um, yeah, there's no real rocket science there at all. Okay, so I've got the loco sat on the tidy track there. And it literally is just a case of um, well, running it as you would normally um, with the Broadway locos. They can't run without the sound on so um unfortunately we're gonna have the sound on um, while it's doing it but i'll just um set it all up now so i've got the sound down about as low as it'll go and um it's literally just a case of running the locomotive as you would normally So it is running there and I run it for typically five minutes at a medium speed in both directions. And all that does then is that um, the white pads will clean the wheels off. It does make a difference. And let's say with Broadway, especially the Paragon 3 engines, I think it's really, really important to do. I've got that there now at about speed step, uh, speed step 60. I will literally just let it run now for five minutes. I do sometimes just drag it back a little bit just to make sure it is cleaning the wheels properly and I'll just do that in both directions um, with nothing more to it than that really. It doesn't affect the track, you know, um, the track cleaning doesn't affect any of the locos, there's no like electronic bits and pieces inside it so you can run it while there's other trains running, you know, that's not a problem and it, it is really worthwhile doing, particularly with the Broadway locos. It does, it improves the running no end, you know, it, it is really good. So, I'm going to stop that direction. Wait for the engine to spool down a bit. And I'm going to swap directions. It'll be exactly the same the other way. Again, run it at about speed step 60 and just let it run for five minutes or so. And um, like I say, all I do is just push it back and forth a little bit just to make sure you're getting rid of all the muck off the actual wheels. Well worth doing. You know, it, it takes minutes. And it just, you know, it, it'll get rid of that frustration from poor running locals. It does for me anyway. Um, 
obviously everybody's track and everybody's locals are different but um, as far as Eagle Creek goes you know it works a treat and um, yeah I do it quite regular with all the locals because I don't run as often as uh, as often as I'd like for you know various reasons so I make sure I do it I make a point of cleaning the wheels and cleaning the track quite regularly and um, yeah it just improves the experience and the enjoyment of it all really Okay, well, that's about it for this video. Um, I have had a couple of little sort of uh, messages and inquiries about my Broadway locos. So I thought I'd just do this quick video to uh, to show sort of how I keep them running as best as I can. They aren't the greatest runners, okay? They are, they do have a reputation for being quite poor, but I think with a bit of effort, you know, we can make the best of them, you know, and they're not cheap, so. You know, I think we owe it to ourselves just to make that effort as well, you know. So, yeah, um, thanks all for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hope you're all keeping well. Stay safe, and I will catch you on the next one. Cheers, all.